Hello guys. First of all, I would like to welcome you to our YouTube channel Statisticians Hub. So today we will be discussing about Walt Wolfowitz run test and also we will learn how to perform this test in SPSS software. So before getting into the video, let me first start by introducing myself. I am Kritanjali Chakravarti, a student of MSc third semester, Department of Statistics, Assam University, Silchar. So let us first discuss about what is World Ulfovitz Run Test. So this test was founded by two scientists, Abraham Wald and Jacob Ulfovitz. So here you can see this test name came from the surname of both scientists. This test is used to check the mutual independence of random binary data sequential elements and it is a non-parametric and valuable tool for analyzing patterns in two valued data sets. Let us go to the objective of this test. As you can see, in this test we can identify significant patterns indicating clustering or dispersion beyond chances. Secondly, we can evaluate randomness in the distribution of values between two samples. And lastly, we can provide a statistical basis for valid conclusions from binary data in diverse fields. Then, if we talk about the hypothesis, then we all know that there are two types of hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So, here in this test, the null hypothesis is if the sample came from the population having same distribution. And the alternative hypothesis is if the sample came from the population having different distribution. Now, let's move to test statistic. To obtain the run test are firstly we will combine the N1 plus N2 observation from two sample and arrange them in ascending order. Then we will denote one sample's observation as X and the other sample as Y. Then we will count the number of runs. And if X and Y observation are same we will prioritize xy first when counting runs of xy observations. Now if we talk about the decision rule, then let us consider rc as the critical value. And if the calculated value r is greater than the critical value, then we will accept our null hypothesis. And if the calculated value r is less than the critical value, then we will reject our null hypothesis. So, now let us go to SPSS and understand how to perform it with the help of an example. So, here is my data set and this is the variable view. And to perform this test, uh, first we go to Analyze and select Non-Parametric Test and then go to Legacy Dialogues and then go to Two Independent Sample. from two independent sample there appear two box test variable list and grouping variable in the test variable list select salary because we have to test for salary and gender is our grouping variable because there are two groups in gender, 0 is for male and 1 is for female. So group 1 is 0 and group 2 is 1. And then press continue. Then go to exact. And to get the 
exact value click on exact and press continue then go to option select descriptive statistics and press continue as we are doing the test for world's ulfovitz run test so click on world's ulfovit run test and press ok so here is our output table here is the simple descriptive statistics and we have to see the test statistics as this is the most important thing and here we see that the value is 0 0.261 which is much less than the critical value so we accept the null hypothesis I hope you all enjoyed this video so make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for such informative video